welcome to Spring Boot RESTful Web Service Tutorial CRUD Operations. In today's Spring Boot tutorial, we will learn how to implement CRUD operations for our account Spring Boot RESTful Web Service. As part of CRUD operations, we will learn implementation of put and delete method. We will also cover some corner use cases as part of today's Spring Boot CRUD operation tutorial. In previous Spring Boot tutorial, we have learned how to implement CRUD operations for our account Spring Boot RESTful Web Service and in that CRUD operation tutorial we have learned implementation of GET and POST method. Content of today's Spring Boot CRUD operation tutorial is we will first implement service methods then we will add methods to our controller then we will handle the some of the corner use cases for those methods and then we will do a quick demo. Now to get to know more about the Spring Boot RESTful Web Services and the introduction to the RESTful Web Services check out the link in the description below okay and at the end of this session I will also cover curl commands for the put and delete now let's get started now let's first add the service methods for put and delete okay so here we will add two methods update and delete update is representing put crud operation and delete is representing delete crud operation okay now let's start implementing it so the first method would be update now the update method is taking one argument which is the updated account So what we will do here is we will first fetch the account to be updated from our database by passing a id to it. And now we will update the entries for name and the email. So we are here we have implemented the update method so in this way the account is updated now next we will add a delete method so the delete method here is taking one argument which is the account id so what we will do here is we will then remove the entry of that account by passing a id to it from the database so in this way we have implemented update and delete method as part of the CRUD operations for our spring boot project now next what we will do here is we will add a controller method now here there would be two methods corresponding to those service methods so the first would be update account and the other one would be delete account so let's start implementing the update account method the update account is taking two argument first would be a path variable which would be an id next would be a request body which would be an updated account now the configuration here would remain the same it's just we just need to add another placeholder for the id and the method type would change from post to put and now here we'll just first handle the error scenario wherein the there would be a case wherein the user will not provide the 
correct account ID. So and the let, so we will just check whether the account is. Uh, we will use a service method here. Okay, we'll pass ID to it and we'll check whether the account is null or not. If it is null, then we will return an error message to it. Message will be account not found. Okay, and the HTTP status would be not found. That is 404. Now we will handle the success scenario wherein we the account we got an account. Okay, now we will invoke the update method here and passing the updated account, and then we will return the success message. Okay, and the status would be okay. In this way, we have implemented the update account method. Now, next we will add the delete account method. account would only ask you for the one argument which is the path variable and which will be the account id here also the configuration would almost remains the same it's just we need to change the method type from put to delete okay and the scenario would also become here wherein the user is trying to delete account which is not present actually now in this case if we got an account then instead of invoking here update we'll invoke the delete method by passing a id to it and we'll change the error message okay so now in this way we have implemented the update account and the delete account method for our uh, crud operations as part of our spring boot project now let's go ahead and start our spring boot application Now uh, we will also need to start the terminal here because uh, we need to fire the curl commands. Now uh, first we will check whether we have any entry in our database or not. So we will fire a get request here. Okay, so as we don't have any entry right now, it is returning an empty map. Okay. Now we will add a entry into our database. Now uh, we will just fire this request. So now we have account created successfully. Now we can check whether we have that account present into our database or not. Okay, so we got an entry. Now what we will do here is we will f then first update the this account. So we will use the same curl command here and we will just change some of the parameters. So this is the way we can use it. This is the way we to use the curl command for the put. So now first thing that we need to do is we need to change the path. In the update, update method would require a path variable which is the account id. So just give an account id to it. Next we will update the name so that the updation would get reflected. Account updated name have we have changed and there is one more change. We need to change the method from post to put. Let's just fire this method. Now it, we got a message saying account updated successfully. Okay. We can also do a get here just to know get to know whether we are uh, whether our account has been successfully updated or not so as you can see when we have do a get here we get a, we get the updated entry okay now let's just fire the last one which is the delete 
so in delete this is the way i made to do it via the curl wherein just passing the method and also the url okay uh we have just changed the path now the account has been successfully deleted we can verify it just by calling a get get request okay so we got an empty response so this is the way uh, we need to use a curl commands for the put and delete okay so that's it for this today's session okay uh, if you like the content do like share and subscribe okay and also comment on the video thank you and have a nice day